So as a real estate photographer, as a full-time real estate photographer, I did start out shooting HDR. I learned how to shoot three brackets. I learned how to bring them into Lightroom and do the merging, the auto merge. So the reason why I switched really quickly to Flambient is because I saw like how much easier it was to control the situation in any situation. Let me ask you this. If you are a three bracket shooter and then you send your images off to get edited, you have to ask yourself, are you really even a photographer at that point? Because all you're really doing is pushing a button. Once you learn how to set your camera up for HDR, getting that zero exposure, the camera is literally taking all three images on autopilot. The only skill you really are having is composition of the room making sure your verticals and horizontals are straight and then after that you're leaving all everything else up to somebody else yes that is a good business model if you want to scale really really big but at the same time you're you're a big company if you are a big company even if you're not a big company let's just say you're a one-man band like I am and you're working with all these different realtors it's and let's say don't care about this, but my thought process was, is how that's you're so replaceable at that point. Literally, it takes no skill to do that. All the realtor would have to do is buy a cheap camera, learn how learn composition, which is going to take them like an hour of tutorials on YouTube, and then learn how to ship them off. A lot of realtors that I'm working with are already doing sky replacements. They're already doing uh, virtual. Uh, staging so they're already learning that part of hiring uh, outsourcing some of the editing my strongest opinion is to learn how to do the flambient method as an only HDR shooter you're so you're just on the verge of being replaceable just like that it's not it, it, there's not much skill involved in doing that there really is hardly any skill involved in that just the composition making sure that you're you're starting at the correct exposure before you push the shutter button i mean all you are becoming is a shutter release for your camera in my tutorials on this channel i show you such a simple way because i don't want to complicate it for myself i've taken bits and pieces from other tutorials that i've seen and said oh we could simplify this oh we could simplify that method and i've experimented and created my own methods because i get pretty busy in the summertime in the busy months even october was like my, my busiest year i was like doing two or three listings every day some of that included video packages as well really every house no matter what the size is i'm 45 minutes to an hour if it's just interior and exterior photos maybe you want to tack on an extra 10 to 15 minutes for that if i have to do drone photos but again i'm charging extra for that and the same with the video so even with a full video and full interior exterior photos with the drone in the air the whole nine the most i've ever been at a house is three hours and so i charge six hundred dollars for that do the math that's 200 bucks an hour yes that doesn't count my editing time but literally it's about the same how i've measured it and how i've timed it i'm getting pretty fast but if i'm an hour on site that usually takes me an hour to edit if you start to get busy now i have outsourced maybe one out of the three listings if i start to get really busy and overwhelmed i'm not saying you can't do this but my whole point in this video is to make sure you know how to control every situation because like i said all you're doing is pushing a button and if you're an hdr shooter and then sending your images off so check this out this is pixel mob right here so you can do you can shop through in the each uh, editor has recommend or they have examples here and you can actually find here we go flash ambient that's your flambient method you select that and then we click off these are all the guys that shoot flambient method and i go by their rating right here and it tells you where they're from uh 4.8 stars 4.9 stars i don't know if anybody's a five star on here but that's not bad 65 cents an image and they upsell you by if they, you want sky replacements and all that i would not actually pay more to do sky replacements that's such an easy thing to do but again if the realtor needs it and that's just going to save you time then sure they have the before and afters you know that's your ambient layer so i have outsourced 
both the HDR and the Flambient. The HDR, in my experience, in this guy, I picked probably the best one. It was like 95 cents an image. They did pretty good for the most part, but I would never do, I wouldn't use HDR as my go-to shooting style. I would definitely do the Flambient method still. And their Flambient method was no different than what I can do. So it's not like it was worse. It was comparable to my work, which is a good thing. So I would highly recommend, I'll leave a link. I'm not affiliated with this Pixel Mob at all. I don't get affiliate commission or anything from it. I am just letting you know that this is the site, the only site that I've had experience with, and they're very good. You can even pay extra if you want. Some of them have a 24 hour turnaround time, which I think is a lot. I mean, sometimes my clients, they want to secure the listing so bad that they really, you know, they don't demand it, but they are like, can you please give me the photos back today? And I'm, I'm like, I, there's rarely a situation where I can't deliver the photos the same day. I think it's only happened like once or twice last year, even my biggest time. So I get home and I just bust them out and I get all the listings done. And I'm usually done by 9, 9.30 at night and I'm still fine. I'm, I'm a, I stay up till like 11, 11.30 anyway. But some of these editors will do a four or eight hour turnaround time. See, and they can tell you in accepting orders. I almost think I use this guy. Let me see, what's the turnaround time? Here, now we're at 12 hour turnaround time. So that's even better. Let me a comment below. Let me know what, what your business model is. Are you a three, three to five bracket HDR shooter and then you hire your stuff out? I know a lot of you are. But uh, are you interested in learning the Flambium? Check out my tutorials and see if they're uh, gonna help you at all. So, like I said, I personally believe you should be in control of your editing also, whether it's within your own company that you having somebody edit in-house so you can get those photos back the same day. But, like I said, if you're hiring your stuff out, I mean, what's, what's stopping a realtor from doing that once you become too expensive or once they run into a financial situation? I mean, I know every, everybody's different, every business is different, but... If you're just starting out, make sure you know and you can control every aspect of your image. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to train somebody to help you down the road when you want to expand. So leave me a thumbs up if this video helped you and also click that subscribe button. I have flaming tutorials coming out all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.